Good morning. My name is Max Jones and I will be your host for this morning's session. This morning I have Miss Lynn Truss, who has recently written the number one British bestseller, Eats, Shoots, and Leaves. It is the zero tolerance approach to punctuation. Miss Truss, how did you become a writer? Well, I started off as an editor and recently started doing a show on BBC Radio 4, Cutting a Dash. And we featured a number of weekly segments, specifically on apostrophes, commas, and other forms of punctuation and their use in the English language. And those short segments are really the base of what you see here today. Who do you believe should read this book? I believe any English speaker who's looking to form and express intelligent, clear ideas should read this book, if only to understand, in a lighthearted, funny tone, the importance of grammar in today's society. What is the crucial idea that readers should take away? I believe readers should take away a willingness to understand the grammar and punctuation that comes along with the English language and a willingness to use it in day-to-day -day conversation and in writing. There have been a few critics recently that have been claiming that the arts are being ignored because there's too much attention focused on the three main subjects, math, the sciences, and the humanities by the school curriculums across the world. When budget cuts are made, the arts are the first to go. How would you respond to these critics? Well, I would first say that while I do agree that there could be a little more emphasis placed on the arts in school curriculums today, I believe that whether emphasis is placed on the arts or on what are considered the three main core curriculum classes, the, the English language and proper use of grammar and punctuation is important. I don't think it matters whether you're taking an art class, an English class, or a science class. I feel like a proper grasp of the English language helps one develop and express clear and concise ideas. If Lynn Truss were Roman Catholic, I'd nominate her for sainthood. As it is, thousands of English teachers from Maine to Maui are calling down blessings on her merry learned head, Frank McCourt. There's a multitude of us riding this planet for whom apostrophe catastrophes, quotation blotation, mad dashes, and other comatose errors squeak like chalk across the blackboard of our sensibilities. At last, we who are punctilious about punctuation have a manifesto, and it is titled, Eat, Shoots, and Leaves. Richard Lederer. Thank you very much, Ms. Lentros. Her brand new book, Eat, Shoots, and Leaves, is now available online and at your local bookstore. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me.